17 years, folks, they have lived underground. <laughs> and in just a couple of weeks, cicadas will be making a comeback all across the country. Or county, at least. The country. 4-1 meteorologist Stefano DiPietro here to break down now what we can expect here in Middle Tennessee. We all enjoy the sounds of summer, right? The crickets overnight, the sound of the ice cream truck in the distance. But this summer, this time around, we'll be hearing a different tune. That's the 17 year cicadas that we've been hearing about for the last couple of months. So what exactly is going to happen? Let's go through a breakdown here. They're going to emerge when that soil temperature eight inches down is right around 64 degrees. Now that happens between now and around mid May or late May at the latest. So they last emerged actually in 2004 to put that into perspective. That was when Facebook was launched. The most popular phone at the time was the Motorola Razor and it was the year of that infamous halftime show malfunction in the Super Bowl halftime show. I'm sure we all remember that 17 year cicadas. Now that mating song is going to be up to 100 decibels. That's as loud as a lawnmower or even a power saw lifespan of around six weeks. So they don't stick around very long. They start to die off by the time we get to July. Good news is gardens going to be safe. Cicadas mainly eat plant fluids such as tree sap. Older trees, mature trees should be OK. It's those younger trees that could be damaged by egg laying. So you want to be aware of that if you have any saplings planted. 15 states from northern Michigan all the way down through the Tennessee and Ohio River valleys are expected to see this cicada emergence as we go through about the next two or three weeks. The good news is here in middle Tennessee, we don't get the largest numbers. That's actually going to happen in East Tennessee with this particular brood. But come 2024 and 2025 here in middle Tennessee, we'll have our own widespread emergence.